Ding. Oh, that's a lovely noise, isn't it? Welcome back, everyone. And I don't know what it is, but that about a real good truck engine, just especially under heavy load. Sound of the <laughs> turbo winding up, even a supercharger. I also get lost in the um, hypnotizing effect of watching the jewels on the back as well. I don't know what that is. But anyway, welcome back to ATS. Hope everyone's having a great time, had a good week. I've had a pretty good week actually. Oh, I've had an interesting week anyway. Uh, I don't want to get into it too much, but I work with a lot of young people, um, male and female. And be the fatherly figure they all see me as, um, which is not a bad thing. It's funny, you know, I've inherited a lot of um, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, and shit, even a couple of so called uh, work wives. Um, uh, some of the things you hear about what happens to them when they're out. Uh, oh, I remember now, we got pink for not going over this way bridge. We are, oh, that's right. I feel like it kind of, to some extent, some of them are ruining it for everyone, each other. Diesel, eh? Where are we taking the diesel? That's not very long, 336. We could get that done quite quickly. Duck back up there. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, then we can get it. Yeah, let's do that. We'll we'll do two deliveries. A eh? sixty-one thou. Yeah, that's all right. This yeah, this is from where I am. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they bring it on themselves. Eh? You guys are like ruining it for each other. I mean, am I? I'm, I'm talking what twenty, thirty years ago now. Um, Time to hit the road. Guys were rolled up for other guys back then. And in my opinion, they were kind of um, being rewarded for it. And then I see some of these young girls and what they're wearing today. Like, oh my god. It's like, you don't want to be sexualized, but you go out in literally a bra. I mean, oh my god, but you don't want to, you know, you don't want anyone looking at you, then why wear it? If it's for one particular person, then um, save it for that person. I mean, they will appreciate it. Turn right. I mean, we're all young, right. we want to have fun when we're young. i got nothing against that, but... You're not young forever, trust me on that one. And for all the boys out there who uh, ready to turn left. think you're only a man because you bum, turn left. you go to the gym all the time, uh, at some point you're going to not be able to do that anymore. When muscle um, is no longer being used, guess what it turns into? Same for you, you women who go to the gym because you want hot bods. Um, mutual respect goes a long way, guys. Everyone's got different tastes, that's so all you got to stop trying to think you have to fit some stupidity some stupid vision of what's normal or acceptable. I mean, some guys like big women, some guys like bones, some guys like large butts, some guys like small ones. Um, find someone that's going to love you for you, not because of what they think you're going to be. Whoops, wrong butt. And don't try to pick someone who, um, you're not going to be able to, I mean people do change, but the more you try and change straight. someone, the, the, the more they're going to balk, basically. Stay left. 
and then exit left. Exit left. How can I exit left? Anyway. Yeah, I just, um, I, I struggled when I was young and wished I was older. Now that I am, I'm kind of glad that I am because, yeah. Life is significantly um, different. When you actually kind of wake up, open your eyes to actual true reality. I mean, we all want to be loved. We all we all want to feel special. Go straight. What you don't realise is it only takes one person to do that. You don't have to be loved by everyone because you're never going to please everyone. Always going to be one person who, who disagrees and sometimes it's just because they just want to disagree. They'll shoot themselves in the foot just to do it. Yeah, it's a bit like this on YouTube. It's like, who cares? I don't. Stay left, and then turn left. I don't get on and oh, please like my video. It will help me a lot. And you know, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything because it, it's all about me and I'm better than everyone else. And, and my videos are the ones. You, turn you like, left. If you like my video, like it. If you don't, then click you don't like it. And if you don't want to watch it, don't <laughs> watch it. It's as simple as that. Um, not that I've had any comments, which is fine. I really don't care. I'm not doing this for. Yeah, you know, some people. Oh, this is how you make uh, make a career on YouTube. You got to do this. You got to like, well, yeah. But not all of us are on YouTube to make a career. So of us are just on here because we want to share, and we're allowed to share. If you don't want to. If you don't want someone's advice, left. then don't ask for it. Turn what left. The hell am I going? I can't go out that way. What the? That's the road there. Okay, cool. Am I going to make that? Yeah, I'll make that. It was a nice ride. Ah, oh, it's over there. Ah, oh, cool. What a pickup point. This is awesome. Bloody hell, I had to be confused for a little bit. Interesting. What the hell is this? Where are we picking up from? We'll get this info again, won't we? American lines got no damage good. Yeah, I mean I'm lucky. I've got the um, the added benefit of hindsight. <laughs> it's one of the best things about getting old. It's like yeah, be there, done that. Uh, you're an idiot. But people have to learn learn themselves too. I mean, if you can learn from someone else's mistakes, you've, you're, you're miles ahead. Time to get the job done. I mean, you're literally miles ahead. If, if you can learn from others' mistakes. But inevitably, inevitably, if I can get that word out, the hell is that? Is that a highway marker? Cool. Um, we're gonna make out. We're all gonna make mistakes. We're human beings. Of course, we're gonna make mistakes. Can I go this way? That's one way, isn't it? Must be. Um, we're human beings. We all make mistakes. You know, it's about how you take safe. ownership. Um, I up with that on. It's how you take ownership and try to fix. You know, not, sometimes you can't fix a mistake. 
Um, maybe we can't get out that other way. Uh, sometimes when you make a mistake, the consequences are just too great to recover from. Is this a triple or quad? One, two, a yeah, triple. I don't know. Um, sometimes they just are. Uh, it's just a fact of life. But then you just have to live with those consequences and learn from them, and, and that's the kind of mist that's the kind of lesson you hope others learn um, from you, so that they don't. Because because you can just you know what's going to happen. Now let's go this way and open this up. Turn right. And you don't want that to happen to them. And it can be. It can Never mind. It I'll hurts. find a new route. When you can't do anything to prevent it, and you, you can see it coming, and it's yeah. Um, if, if you notice that there's some good people leave your life, uh, that could be a reason why. Because um, I'm not going to hang around with someone who is just going to continually hurt themselves, uh, particularly someone I can care about because that's just hurting me. And you could say, well, you clearly don't care about them then because, you know, you'd, you'd hang around and pick them up for whatever. And that's true, especially if they're my kids. But I don't have kids. Um, the young people I work with, they don't want to listen. They don't, they don't have to. It's, it's, it's their lie. And I'm not always right either. I don't ever think that any one person has all the answers. Never, ever, ever get all your information from a single source ever that is the best way to ensure um, that you have been misled nobody has all the answers and nobody knows everything And anyone who says they do is a liar, a manipulator, and is basically only trying to get something out of you, put it that way. Get ready to turn left. And usually those people will just chew turn up, left. spit you out, and you, you, they won't even have any form of remorse. They won't fully understand what their actions have done. Are you going to make that? Are you going to sit there and wait for me now, are you? Whoops, I came out too far. No. Too late now. Thanks, mate. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should probably go too, dude. Please make it. Please make it. Yeah, right. So I really stuffed up that exit, big time. Um, I surprised we didn't get a fine for that. That was severely, severely. Um, I overshot it basically when I arrived and the programming of the I mean anyone else in real life just would have taken that corner anyway and have yelled abuse out the window. Stay right and then continue straight. <laughs> well, and rightfully so in that, that circumstance. Go straight. Ah, oh, the brakes are a bit soft than I remember. And then ha mm, okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Some I've so, <laughs> heard some stories during the week, and I gotta admit, my mind boggles a little bit. And I was, yeah. Part of me thinks I should have been born earlier than I was. Um, I get called an old soul from time to time, which is fine. My morals and my ethics and what I live by are the reason why I can sleep at night. And as I've told others, including work people, 
I will not be changing them. Because the particular the people at work, you only want me to change them to make your life, your job easier. More money in your pocket. Um, and yeah, that's not me, mate. Realistically, if anyone should be uh, considering altering their thoughts, that you should be looking in the mirror and, and really assessing exactly what it is you're asking. Stay left, and then turn left. And the same for young people. I mean, you want to go and have fun. Go and have fun. You you want to put yourself out there? That's fine, but don't be angry with what you attract. Don't be angry with someone because they're looking at you because you've got half your bits hanging out. If you don't want them looking at you, then or if it's only the one particular type of man that's allowed to look, then save it for when you're with that one particular type of man. Don't go out in public and expect only that because we can't read your mind. And the same for you blokes. If a woman comes up to talk to you, don't dismiss her and give a shit just because you're not interested. You do that and the women you are interested in are going to see how you treat the other girls and go, well, why would I bother talking to you if you're just going to talk to me like that? And then if they do, because they're laughing at the other girls, what sort of person do you think it really is that you're getting to know? Well, that's, that's mind-boggling. I mean, life when you're young is all about the now, not about the tomorrow. That's really weird. This is, this is, you build your reputation when you're young. You build your foundations for you later in life. Things only get harder, not easier. Well, not entirely true. A lot of things do, do get. Go straight. Bloody cruise control slowed me down 12 kilometers, an, or mile, 12 mile an hour leading up to that. Yeah. They were, the devs need to look at that, that's for sure. Anyway. I should probably not be using it around the city. I use cruise around the city in my real car, so I don't speed. Um, no, I don't like breaking the law. You can have fun and not break the law. It's, it's really that easy. The law is there so that you don't hurt other people. I don't like hurting other people. I don't find fun in, uh, or enjoyment in other people's misery or misfortune or being hurt. I don't, I don't get it. It's like you've got serious, serious problems if you find... I mean, I understand people getting in a ring and beating the crap out of each other for fun. You know, we all cope with things in our own way and if that's how you cope with anger or, you know, you go down and punch and punch your bag, that's healthy. You're getting a good workout. You want to punch someone else out for something different? Well, find someone who also wants to try and beat the shit out of you. Then do it in a fair way. The one thing I do like about the MMA is the tap out. If they tap out, they stop. So if one of you has had enough. Whoever hasn't had enough can go find someone else and just have it out with them instead. And I think that's that's a good a good thing to take into life in general. Hey, we might need sleep, do we? Um, we do. Whoops. Why didn't I <laughs> why didn't I sleep after the last video? Oh dear. That mirror's out of whack. How come the mirrors keep resetting themselves? This is um, starting to get a little concerning. Yeah, that right mirror is really weird. Anyway, it should probably not be there, but still. Stay right, and then turn right. 
Uh, the thing about it this way, what do you, what is it that you actually want Turn right. in your life? And most people are going to say exactly the same thing. Stay right, and then continue straight. I want to be successful. Right. Well, how Go do you straight. judge its success? I want to be happy. What makes you happy? You want a family. If that's what you want to do, then work towards that. You have to understand that. And and women who, I mean, some of this shit that you hear. Excuse my French, but it it really annoys me. People who say um, a woman is only worth was Go only straight. worthwhile if she can have kids. Like the only purpose for women is to pump out children. What a load of bollocks. I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Well, I have heard a lot of ridiculous, including my speed coming through here. I have heard a lot of ridiculous things in my time. Um, and that is definitely one of them. Women have got so much more value than just being baby producers. And they've, they've they got it tough already just because they're born a woman. I mean, men have got other tough things going on that women would never understand. Because it's easy to be a man. It's not. Um, and it's less easy as time goes by, let me tell you that, especially in this day and age, in this modern society. We get accused of being like the minority of men. And it can be from a complete stranger out of get the blue. Ready to turn right. And it's like, where's it even coming from? You have no idea who I am. Turn have right. No idea what I'm like. And yet, you want to tell me that it's wrong to do something that I already know it's wrong to do. We are finished. And accuse me of doing it, even though it's... Oh, I would be sick to my stomach. Even at the thought of doing some of the things I hear, some of the guys think it's okay and brag about. I'm like, oh my god. But do you not have family? Do you not have people that are going, hey, seriously, dude, what the hell? Or is it just your mates that you say, I mean, and let's face it, most of you, some people, of course, there's something behind there, isn't there? We're not going to squeeze in from the back at all. Alright, we'll go up here. We'll see how we go. Getting this in. Um, yes, that's the, and that's the mob mentality. They think it's funny and they don't, they, they forget that that's a real human being that they're playing with. And, and again, we all make mistakes. We all do stupid things, especially when we're young. There's some things you can be not forgiven, for, but not forgiven for necessarily. But you, you can, especially us adults, can sort of understand why maybe perhaps you um, made that mistake, I guess. And then, like us, hey, this is a quad. And then, like I was saying before, then it comes down to, right, you, you've done this. Now, what are you going to do now that you understand? Or even... That's even one of the problems. Do you even understand that you have done something wrong? And those that don't understand, it's like... Who educated you? Because really the only way we ever understand something is if we can wrap our mind around whatever concept is. 
And if you've never trained your brain to be able to understand certain concepts, then I've stuffed this up, haven't I? I hope I don't hit the other side. Please don't hit those sleepers. I think it might be, oh, we have to be right, otherwise I'm screwed. Am I screwed anyway? Oh, are we gonna, oh, we got it, you bloody beauty. That's the spot I need. I mean, those who make a mistake and then just don't get it and have absolutely zero remorse. I, I do truly believe that um, as a society we should be able to say we don't want you with us anymore. Because we want to be a modern civilization, a modern society, a caring society. One that gives us stuff about people in general, not just ourselves. But I mean, that's that's got to come from the top. Too many people get away with only caring about themselves. And then too many people aspire to be like them because they think that it's cool, because they got money, they think they got power. That's the other thing, power. Power is only a perception. Someone only has power because you give it to them. If you don't want someone to have power over you, then just don't let them. It's as simple as that. Someone only has power over you because you are letting them. Oh, I had no choice. Yes, you did. You just chose the easy path. Be the bigger person, choose the right path. It's not always that difficult. And it doesn't mean it's going to cost you either. either. And even if it does cost you a little bit financially, who bloody cares? I mean, money is not the end of the world. Money is not everything. You can't eat it, you can't breathe it, you can't drink it. Did we... Hazmat delivery bonus. Oh, six months. <laughs> um, looks like we were late. Oh, well. I gotta sleep. Where are we sleeping? Camera. Um, yeah, let's come back here. Let's go. Um, that's one of the things that took me a little bit to realise. That's 9 hours 27. Sleep in 9 hours, it's 9 o'clock. If I sleep now for 10... Yeah, let's go sleep. Um, but yeah, seriously. People, some people who, who think that they're more powerful than everybody else. They get really angry, really angry, when you demonstrate that um, just because they have money doesn't mean they can control you. Just because they think they're powerful, when you bring it to their attention that they're not, they um, they really don't like it, and it speaks volumes of the actual kind of person they really are. Because someone with true power doesn't take it it's given and it comes back to that same thing someone only has power over you because you let them you always have a choice can I go out the other way I can can't I I will go this way we're here now so differences between an okay leader and a great leader 
is the great leader doesn't ask to lead people just follow because they trust they can see I mean this leaders already demonstrated that they are capable of leading people who take it want to be a leader and then they wonder why no one ever listens to them it's like well maybe because you're not an actual very good leader or a very good person and then they get frustrated because they think they're better than everybody else but no one no one else thinks that they don't know why it's just like I, I can't believe how brainwashed some of these young people are and it's not necessarily a lack of education it's a, it's a, it's a wrong education I mean, I'm all for parents boosting their kids, but you've got to be real with them. I mean, you're setting these kids up for the real world. They're not going to have their mummy with them Go straight. the rest of their lives. You stick a kid in a workplace, they're not going to be able to go, oh, mum will fix that, or, you know, we expect them. I had um, one of my leaders, this was um, a bit of a shock, I must admit. We got some 15, 16 year old turn left. kids, right? They're kids, they're teenagers. I mean, in my turn eyes, you're, you're not an adult until you're like 25. You're certainly not an adult in your teens. I mean, even by the law, they're not considered adults. And they said, and something came up, and I said, well, look, you know, they're kids. And, no, they're not, they're adults. No, they're kids. No, they're adults. Get they can make decisions right. for them. And tr but this leader is expecting them to make decisions right. based on what the leader knows. The leader's 10 years older, at least. So the leader's got 10 years advantage. And in some respects, the leader doesn't make the best decisions. And you can see their immaturity. And it's like... I want to get in there, don't I? And so, then you turn around and try and say that you're not going to give these kids any get direction or left. advice because you consider them turn left. adults because they've actually got the initiative to want to go and work while they're still at school. Try and get a bit of a head start on what is really becoming a difficult world to grow up in and, and survive in and have things in. You have arrived at I your mean, destination. Just the cost your route of guidance is now finished. I wonder if they appreciate me parking at Kenworth in the Volvo. Where's the sleep area? Up there. I mean, it just baffles me as to... And these people are given positions of power. With, you know, within an organisation, you kind of have, if they're your boss, they're your boss, you know. They don't control you, but they have a certain level of, um, you know, if they take abuse of this, um, let's say a boss sleeps with a young employee, right? It's just abuse of power, it's abuse of position, because they're using a perceived, um, well, they're trying to take advantage of something that they haven't necessarily earned or something that they don't deserve that they've been given they've been given this job and then they think that that means that they can do whatever they like to these young people um, but you can't you have to have <laughs> how often how often do people think that you, people get stuck in a work, or stuck in a job. That they have to be there. It's like no, 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 no. No one has to be in the job they're in. They can always go get another job. And if they can't, then go upskill yourself. Most employees don't want someone who's already knows everything and just can't be asked anymore. They want someone who is willing to 
is enthusiastic, he's driven, he wants to see results, wants to improve himself. I mean, the, the whole meaning of life is about improving. Making the next one better than this one. Um, we need a job, don't we? I mean, and that's my opinion anyway, that the, the whole purpose of, the whole meaning of life is continual improvement. One generation gives rise to the next improved generation. We make them better than we are. Hydrochloric acid, now we're talking. Could go to Kansas. That's three grand. Cheyenne to Junction City. That's petrol. I just... <laughs> 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 um, crude oil, crude oil. Solvents, where are the solvents going? Ah, uh, we'll take the petrol, that's explosive. Uh, what's the bet that's picking up from behind? <laughs> I just... Not where we slept, where we delivered earlier. Uh, Junction City, Kansas. Yeah, bugger it, let's go to Kansas. We're going to Kansas, people. We're going to tap our heels together and we're off to Kansas. Yeah, I'm... I'm let's do this. I mean, hey, if you disagree with me, I, that's not an issue. Like I said, I'm only turn going left, on my own experience. All we are as people is the sum of our experiences. And if you don't believe that, then... Some people are going to call me delusional and off with the fairies and whatever, but I see it the other way around. Information right. is power, and some people don't want you to be informed because then you bring the power back to yourself. You become aware. Get ready to turn left. And those who are aware can make informed decisions. And turn left. If I want to have power over people, then um, I don't want to let them in on all the secrets because then only I have that advantage of making an informed decision, and they don't, or they have they make a misinformed decision Stay left, because I've led fed them a lie. Left. Realistically, in the end, it does no one any good. I mean, it's like, oh, I'm doing this for my children. I am um, ruining the world and burning all the fossil fuels and raping and pillaging all the resources and making all these cheap, cheap products so that everyone can have one and, and waste everything because it's, it's, I'm building something for the future for my kids so they can have a good head start and have money and get ahead and. And I always sort of think, well, that's all well and good, but um, if we burn all the oil, what are your kids going to have? Money. They're going to burn the money. I mean, most of the time these days, money is is you know, the the. How well the investor guys can leverage the same money multiple times. Why they jump out of buildings when things go south because they don't have the funds to pay it back because they f they risk the same money more than once. It's like, how is this even legal? It's all a false economy. I, mean, I could get into it for a while. It's a false economy. For someone to make money, someone has to lose money because inflation is to cover in interest. Basically, that's where inflation comes from because a cob of corn does not increase in value. Um, I mean, if anything, it decreases in value because it's, we can grow more with the same effort. And money buys material things. Um, banks used to have all their wealth stored in gold because 
it was a physical object it had a physical value you could pick it up and see it now it's just numbers on a screen and they say I'm rich because look at my bank account it's like we'll go get it I can't so it's, it's, it's not liquid assets well if it's numbers on a screen in an account, then it Go should be a liquid it. asset. Oh, but the but the bank doesn't have that much funds to dis, you know to be able to give to me in cash. It's like, well, well, why not? Where is it? Well, they've got it invested, but they also have a responsibility to ensure that they have some liquid assets, some actual cash, when their customers want to enjoy it. In, withdraw those funds for whatever reason their customer wants to do it and too much I think we are um, big stay right the minority is, turn right. is trying to get more and more control they, they think their system is working what they don't realize is at some point turn I right. should have gone in there and got fuel oh uh, we got three quarters we'll get another way out what they don't realize is the more that they try to take it, the more they're showing their hand. Um, I mean, the world's a, a very different place than it was 20, 30 years ago. The internet, people are becoming what people are educating themselves by doing their own research. And by that, I ain't just me watching a couple of YouTube videos that spruik the same thing you think. I mean, it's about watching those that don't believe what you believe, and and looking at their evidence and how they right and then continue straight. How they see the same thing you see, but how they Go see straight. it differently, and why they see it differently, and it helps you form a better a better theory yourself. You know, it's like it's sciences. They don't want to change mainstream sites because no one wants to be told that they're wrong. Get ready to turn right. I mean, sorry guys, but you're wrong. You don't know how the world, the universe works. You just don't. <laughs> it's just turn like, right and then turn left. You don't know how the body works. You think you know how some of it works. Turn left. But unless you're willing to go hey we were a little bit wrong about that and refine your your opinion yeah we pretty much are about where we dropped off aren't we then like how can you even call yourself a professional if you're not gonna seek continual improvement or yourself right too many people at work make things personal. You're at work, you're doing a job. You're supposed to be professional. You're not supposed to spit the dummy and get angry with someone because they don't agree with you on a personal level. It's just like. Recomputing. And then you, some bosses get. Oh, I've got to. Oh, I've got to protect myself and, and make it personal because you're calling them out on something they've done that they know is wrong, but they the consequences is like because they can't be asked on their job properly, and so they make it. They turn into a personal attack to try and ruin you, and it's like, <laughs> what kind of person does that? And like seriously, if you've done something wrong, we're all gonna know. Oh, the truth comes out. It's the truth always comes out. Once you've done something, nothing you say or do can change the fact that you have done it in the first place. You can try to atone for it. Yeah, not a problem. You understand? Oh, I uh, I did that. Oh crap! That was a that was wrong. That was a mistake. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Now we can get. Now we're working together. Now, okay, we can Here work we on fixing it. So you understand that you've made a mistake. You feel bad about it. You want to correct it, or at least make up for it. Then, uh, then, 
Right. Anyone who doesn't then turn around and go, okay, cool, let's look at that. If you genuinely, sincerely want to fix it, people will help you. They will see that genuineness and that you want to fix, like improve yourself even by fixing this. And they will help you. This is human nature. Those who try to take advantage of you, they're not true humans. They're selfish, selfish people. Anyone who tries to take advantage of a situation like that, call them out on it. Go, okay? no. You're only interested because of what you think it can give you. Why would anyone ever be willing to help someone who is only in it for themselves? Why would I give something to someone who not expect something in return? Or it's not a matter of expecting something in return, but not... Because I, I quite happily give and not expect in return. Um, but then it's like I don't expect anything for myself in return, but I do expect something. Um, I, will, I expect to see an improvement in that person, a positive change, or, you know, they've, it's not, not necessarily personality-wise or skill level or whatever, but they have gained something from it. Um, Get so I, ex I expect to see some sort turn of return, right. but not necessarily that benefits me um, certainly not financially anyway because um, obviously it'll benefit me because I'll have someone who you know appreciates right. what I say oh thank you and, and that's a benefit in itself right but I sure as hell don't expect oh, I owe you everything and yeah oh, here's everything no 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 I did that for you best thing you can do is be a better person help make society a better place and continue that for the next lot and have that continual improvement go from generation to generation to generation I mean we have improved scientifically you look at what we can make what we can do we go to space all the rest of it right but have we actually improved I'm not so sure that we have. Oh, I need the left lane. Um, to some extent, I think we've actually gone Go backwards. Straight. We're not. Um, Stay left, and then exit left. Yeah, that brake didn't work, even though I was touching the pedal. Interesting. Exit left. Um, there's some areas where I actually think society's gone backwards. We have lost what we learned what we knew and we're not this great civilized society that some people try to make out that we are I mean, we still got people, <laughs> still tribes fighting each other for Christ's sake there's problems around the world that um, are complete opposites of each other and we're, we none of us want to do anything about equalizing that and if you've got problems that you know at opposite ends of the scale it's just a matter of bringing the two together and voila one problem will help solve the other but we're so caught up in our own success financially that we couldn't give a stuff about anyone else and we say we do it for our kids and our family and it's like, well that's all you care about is your kids and your family, but well, what about everyone else's kids and family? You think you're the only one that wants to provide for their children? So you go, well, well no, it's just some, you know, um, survival of the fittest, so I'll, I'll give my kids the best opportunity to be better than everybody, or to be home further along in life than everybody else so that they get the heads up, they stick above and 
you know, they succeed where no one else can and it's like, well, at what cost? Because human beings need human beings. And we need all types of human beings. So, by destroying one to help yours, you're destroying your kid's future to a certain extent. You're making it more difficult for your kids by making it more difficult for everyone. It's People just can't seem to grasp the whole concept about how to actually be a community. Ah, oh, weight restricted. Crap. They don't seem to be able to grasp the concept of you know, it takes two people to have a child it takes a community or village to raise them because in order for that child to really benefit humanity as a whole they have to have stay left the learning from humanity as a whole not just from their parents because otherwise they come up being versions of their parents they carry the same insecurities same hatred, biases. Stay left. Now we get to wave through the station. And then the circle continues. Or governments go, hey, we got to stimulate there. All oh, right, have a kid, here's five grand. Um, and then they wonder why 15 years later they got these 15 year olds running around the streets doing whatever they like because they're, they're single mums or parents don't give a stuff because they only had the kid to get the five grand and the kid's more of a burden because kids cost more than five grand but they, they look at it, they spend the five grand now they got this kid and they go well government's got to help me out and they got to pay me and the kid's got a free schooling and the kid grows up going well nobody gives a shit about me so why should I give a shit about anyone else and it's well well no kid we do give a shit about you it's unfortunately your parents don't the rest of us do but your parents have got it in your head that we don't and now you've got more problems in society purely because nobody actually wants to take accountability for their own actions oh and it's just, just sometimes I really do wonder what goes through people's heads especially the ones in power because you know, perceived power. No, I just don't get it. It's like, I don't want to bring it up, but I've been watching a little bit, because when I come home, and it's, I'm just tired, and I want to play this, but I was a little bit, like, oh, I've got 20 minutes, half an hour. I get on here, I kind of wake up a little bit. So I watch a little bit of YouTube. See what pops up, and random things, various things from conspiracy theories to uh, what did I watch the other day, something about um, Epstein's Island and are you actually going to let me over or what? Maybe I should focus on the road I mean, I don't understand how these people think they're going to get away with it. I mean, it's easy to take advantage of a young person. Uh, duh. It's like, what kind of person are you to take advantage of a young person? I mean, it's not their fault, it's your fault. You should know better. And if you just because you missed out on having fun as, as growing up, well, hey, guess what? So did I. So did a lot of people. Just because you got money doesn't mean that you own people because you do not. Nobody owns anyone. Stay right and then exit right. Exit right. Stay left. I mean, I don't even own my wife, and my wife doesn't own me. We got married because, well, we'd never been married. 
uh, as much as it was, you know, it's just a bit of paper. We don't need. To, we didn't need to get married to consider each other you know, effectively married, committed to each other. We're a partnership. You know, we were. We knew we were going to grow old together before, long before we even thought about organising a wedding. The wedding was just, I uh, guess up. <laughs> Good. F- was it even good food, unfortunately? Stay left. But it was a way to share our commitment with the ones, you know, our friends and family, the ones we care about. Some people say that oh, in the eyes of God and all that. Well, God's everywhere, so in God's eyes, He already knew. And I don't think He would have caught thought that it was uh, wrong of us to um, be doing anything out of wedlock because, like I said, apart from the actual bit of paper for government reasons, we basically were married. But I don't own her, and she doesn't own me, and we need each other, but we don't, if you get what I mean. So she doesn't need me in order to survive, and I don't need her. I want her. So I need her because she feels the companionship side of me. Stay left. And it's her I need because it's her I want. When you think about it that way, if you want something so badly, you end up needing it. And when you have it in your life and it becomes a part of your life, you feel like you need it. And it's for no other reason that you just can't imagine life without it. And, and if it goes, your life will go on and eventually you'll be in a different position where you don't have it and you, you're okay with it. It's, it's one of those really weird human emotion things, you know, which is, where, where does a chemical plant? Chemicals go in in the form of food and drink. Chemical reaction happens and chemicals come out in the form of waste and we live we produce electricity and our bodies run and yeah that's it yeah we're literally a chemical plant emotions are are very easily um, altered they're chemical reactions you feel a certain way because of a trigger a stimulus and are our feelings an electrical impulse? Or are feelings like a drug induced impulse, which is chemical? If it's chemical, then it comes down to hormones, which are basically your chemicals, your controllers, your uh, regulators. Your body regulates the chemicals or hormones that are within you to, to do what you've got to do. It's, a, it's an awesome thing. Your mind is very powerful. It can make you forget things that uh, are what's going to flip you out. You can, you can block pain. It can be done. It's, it's a hugely powerful thing in mind. And at the same token, you can very easily let it get the better of you and when you get the wrong thoughts and you, and you start that train of chemical reactions making you feel like shit. You're going to keep feeling like shit until you, you, in your brain, stop that reaction, stop that chain going and switch it. I mean, most of the people like these predators and bullies and all that, it's... They're trying to shed something that Stay they right don't want to hang on and to. And then exit right. And they're trying to use their victims... Exit right. As sort of like an offloading point. Now, well, and... and all they're doing is is making giving or sometimes even giving their victims a completely different issue. Go straight. What the hell? Why am I up here?
Sometimes this game really gives me the shits. <laughs> Why did it tell me to get off there? I do not know. It's just trying to make me late now. I'm sure it's just trying to make me late. See, we want to stay on this highway all the way. I should have looked at that. Oh, so I'm caught up in a few... It, it does bother me. I see these young, wonderful people struggling and just having an absolutely beautiful really tough time just because one person wants to wants to drag everybody else down to their level I feel bad so Stay therefore left. oh good lord no, that's alright I feel bad so therefore the only way I can feel better is by making everyone else feel bad too it's like, get okay, over yourself. Let's find a new route. You feel bad because you're bad. If you don't want to feel bad anymore, be good. <laughs> you know, oh, they, they, they make everyone else feel, or someone else feel bad. It makes them feel good for what, a fleeting moment. And then they feel bad and just like, gee, I wonder why you feel bad about yourself. And the only way to stop feeling bad about yourself is to start doing more good than bad. And eventually when you get to that point where you're actually doing more good than bad, the good feelings outweigh the bad feelings. And you feel good. You pick on people because you're insecure in yourself. Well, hey, that's interesting, that guy this morning have a look at why you're insecure about yourself what is it that's making you want to pick on these people Seventy-three thousand, eh? cool um, bullies pick on on the weak of this to make themselves feel stronger until they pick on someone that beats the shit out of them and then they suddenly become the victim and oh it's not fair and and they, it's like, well, what do you expect? How do you think your victims feel? And basically, you picked on someone who fought back. <laughs> and a lot of times, that's literally all it is, is they just picked on someone who actually fought back. And they don't know how to take it because no one ever has before. And it, it's like, oh, you can't do that because that's not how it works. It's like, well, yeah, it is actually. <laughs> I, I, I should, well, yeah, I am going to laugh at them because they brought it on themselves, but it's, a, it's like how short-sighted and narrow-minded do parents want their kids to be, and I can't believe that parents are there. Oh, no, 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 my son's not like that, or my daughter's better than Stay that. Stay like, Oh, you don't actually know your kids because you don't actually, you haven't bothered to. Um... And I can tell you right now, my father is only just starting to learn about me. And my family don't even know me. Because no one's ever bothered them to actually get to know me. They've just assumed and therefore I, I am. And... It's like they, they don't actually, even though they're my family, they didn't bother to get to know me. It was only how I, f whether or not I fitted what they wanted me to be. And then if I didn't fit what they wanted me to be, it didn't matter what I was, it was wrong. Because it wasn't what they wanted. It's like, well, it's me, it's not about you. Um, and I'd say, if it's not what you want, then yourself. I don't care. I'm not going to change who I am just because you don't get enough out of it, I guess. 
I don't know. Um, my family is, well, not so much, well, a little bit actually lately my mum has become a little bit more selfish and I don't really blame her. Um, but most of my family are quite selfish people. And I did not like it when I was, and I've spent the last 30 years trying to, at least the last 25, trying to change the kind of person I am because it's well. I just did not like myself very much at all. So if you're wondering why I, I, I feel like I've got a few insights into things, I've done a lot of internal analysis and I have watched a lot of other people, successful and non-successful, seen similarities and differences from both and realised that, well, why am I doing something to others that I don't like in other people? If I don't like it in them, how the hell should I expect them to like it in me? Um, and that's when I come to the realisation of observing not just what I like in people, but what others like in other people. You can't please everyone. You never will. What you have to do, and this is the selfish part, is you have to please yourself. But what you've got to remember is, by that I mean you've got to be happy with yourself. And if you're happy to be ripping people off um, for your own gain, then when someone does it to you, you have to be happy about that because that's the world you want if that's a society that you want where people have to fight just I mean I thought we were past that but we're not if you want a society where you got to fight when you walk out your front door because hey if I want something I go get it and too bad if you want to keep it you got to earn it right even though you've already earned it once, well, you've got to stop me stealing it. If you want a world like that, everyone will be dead. The problem is, people people want to be the only one in a world like that, and that just doesn't work. Because not everyone can be like that. There can only be one, and everyone else won't want that one in their society. We should be allowed, to, we should be going back to banishing people. This put them in jail and given their rights when they've Rebooting. taken the rights of others away from them by force. I I do find that a little bit um, perplexing. I hope I'm in the right spot. I am good. Um, I'm not a believer in an after one eye. You know, you kill someone, we're not going to kill you. It's not the person who dies or suffers, it's the ones who are left behind. So why should we kill you and, and let you... I mean, the fear of death is worse than death itself. So why should we kill you and let you get away with it? But we're not going to give you... When we incarcerate you, you no longer have the right to freedom. Because the person you killed is not free. You don't have the right to life because the person you killed remove their right to life. So you're just going to be incarcerated and if you die, you die, who cares? You've, you've taken these other person, this other person's basic human rights away from them by force. How the hell should we think that you are entitled to keep yours? I just, and, oh, but it's a humane society, and it's like, no, it's not, it's, it's not help, holding people accountable, you know, you, you rip someone off financially, you use a bigger penalty than if you do physical harm, and the only reason that is, is because the rich people don't put themselves in position where they can be physically harmed but you take their money away and oh my god that's like that's like killing their firstborn child 
you know, or stealing their firstborn child. That's ridiculous. You take someone's rights away from them, you forfeit your own, in my opinion. Accidents happen, but... And I get that, um, and this is another reason why I, I don't believe in capital punishment. Um, if someone's sentenced to a life, let's say they're sentenced to death in America, we don't have it here, but let's, let's say someone's on the death row. Rather than have them in a cell, watching TV, doing workouts, feeding them three meals a day, paying guards to keep an eye on them and all the rest of it, um, get them doing civil work. Uh, over here in Australia, there's lots of things that we can get them doing out in the middle of the bush where it's not fun. And if they run away, well, they run away because 10 bucks says they're not going to get far and they'll be shot in the back. Not, not to kill, to injure, to restrain, stop people from escaping. And if they want someone to come pick them up, then some of the places we have, uh, it's pretty difficult to get in and out of. It's not like you can just rock up in a fast car and they jump in the passengers, you know, through the passenger window and you floor it and you get away. You do that here, you won't even get the car to the side, you run out of fuel. You take enough fuel with you, it's not a fast car anymore. Then there's other options. There always there's there's always other options. You always have a choice. It just comes down to the kind of person. Not just the kind of person you are, but the kind of person you want to be, you see yourself as. And with some of the young people where we started this 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 top this blurt being fake just I get that you want to change yourself I, I respect that don't be fake sometimes you're not who you want to be And they put on these fake personas and they think they're all much better than they are because I think that's what society expects and then they wonder why they can't find someone to, to love them for who they are. It's like, well, when is this person going to actually get to meet the real you? <laughs> it, it really does. I mean, it's like, I'm a man, I'm a heterosexual man. Not ashamed to admit it. I, I do love the female form, and I'm madly in love with my wife, and not just because of her body. But I look at some of these people, some of these young girls, and I just think I would touch you with a ten-foot barge pole because your plasticity makeup, hair extensions, false eyelashes push-up bra, bodysuit, nothing about you is real. I get that you want to feel good about yourself. Um, guess what? So do men. Um, and you women can be very, very viciously mean to decent men just because they don't, they don't put you on the pedestal you want to be put on so you attack them. It's just it's like, and then you wonder why no, you only get the, attracting the men that just want to get you, get you in their bed, and get you out of their lives again. I mean, it's like, good lord, what do you want? Yeah, you know, if you want to find a good man, it's like, well, you have to be a good woman. If you want to be. If you want to have, hey, wait, yeah, you want to go have fun? Yep, whatever, right. 
Um, but do not go out. Um, dress like the stereotypical lady of the night and then wonder why men are trying to offer you money or forgiveness. <laughs> And if you don't want to just attract the arsehole that's only after one thing, then um, don't go advertising it. Go out and say, hey. It, it's, uh, I mean, you call, you call me whatever you like, I really don't give a shit. This is my opinion, I'm entitled to it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But if you want to find a nice man, such as myself, to marry, um, I'm not marrying your body. And I sure as hell don't want everyone else to be um, thinking that they've got a chance with my wife either. Uh, I want people to know that my wife is my wife. And no, I don't own her, but this is the thing, right? I'm my wife's husband. He doesn't own me. But guess what? Because she's my wife, she's the only one that's actually going to have me. She made a commitment to me and said, I'm going to stick with you, I'm going to help you, we're going to be partners, we're going to join forces in this world and try to be the best we can be and, and be happy in our lives with what we want to do. I thank her and respect her so much for that. It's like... As I said, we don't need each other, we want to be with each other. And now we're at the point where we've been together so long we kind of do need each other. But we only need each other because of how much we love each other. And we only love each other so much because of how we treated each other over this time we've been together. It sort of like perpetuates itself. Um, she respected my feelings and she's made it very clear that she's not in, interested in in wanting you know to go and have that kind of fun anymore because she's realized that life's just about more than that and yes we're getting older so what was it I saw on TikTok um, not TikTok YouTube something about TikTok and women who've hit the wall or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but basically saying that, you know, women, the older women get, the less they've got to give. And it's like, no, the older my wife gets, the more I buy her, the more fabulous I think she's becoming. Um, I look at some of these young girls and people in general and they think they've got it all worked out and it's like mate we're halfway through our lives and we're still figuring it out so what the yeah you know, it's and it's not even a fact of us against the world it's just I've got someone to share to come like if I've had a bad day I don't have to come home to an empty house and then sit staring at the TV thinking about how bad my day was. I come home to an empty house and then sit and stare at the TV and then go, oh yeah, my wife will be home soon. I'm looking forward to that, that will make my day better and I'm happier. And then my wife comes home and she notices I've had a shit day and she gives me a hug and tells me how much she loves and appreciates me and I feel better. And I suddenly realised, Dawson, you know what? Whoever it was that made my day shit is kind of like insignificant and not even important and not even in my life anymore. <laughs> it's like, it's, so it's not, um, you know, bad days just kind of wiped away. <laughs> it's. 
you guys will, I mean, the young, some of the older people who might not get in, some people are so burned and being treated so badly by the opposite sex, and this goes for both men and women. Because I know there's some women out there that really, the, yeah, it disgusts me at, at what some of the men do. But at the same token, there's some women out there who do not deserve the right to do what they do to men. Stay left. Oh shit, we're running out of fuel. Hey look, fuel stop. That's a Weybridge, so we'll go to that one. That'll be the best. That's a service centre. And a Weybridge, so that could be good too. Fuel, so we could come in, swing around this one here. Do we stick right and go around? Yeah, we'll come in this one because it's right out and right on. Oh, how long's that trailer? Longer trailer could be too easy. Turn and left. Hmm. There is a rear one up there. We could come, and then we're just getting right out. So, yeah, bug it. Let's go this way. Ready to roll. Stay left. Yeah, there, and, and I've seen both sides in Stay action. Stay right, and, and then exit right. I tell you what, they deserved each other. Exit right. What I didn't like is the other people didn't deserve their wrath. Their mistreatment. Stay left, their and then turn left. Their lack of respect. Some women go out of their way just to wind Turn up left. Just to prove that they're all the same and it's like No, I'm just reacting to one hell of a bitch. And if you were a nice person, a nice woman, um, you wouldn't be getting the defensive because basically that's what I'm doing is defending myself against your emotional attack and if you don't like it then stop trying to abuse me and just piss off basically finding new route okay let's find a new route what really shits me is when as a man I try to walk off I go, yet, yeah, not falling for this one, not having it, not interested, clearly you don't like men, that's fine, I will leave. But then of course they don't actually give you the opportunity to do that. Because they instead decide that they're gonna, um, what about Never I mind, I'll find a new route. Uh, H. Please make a U-turn when possible. That's what I hit. That does upset me, because it's like, I'm trying to do the right thing here by removing myself from the situation. Rerouting. And because you're not happy, I guess, because you, I'm not giving you the justification of your misguided verbal stoush, you want to follow me to, to keep going until you what wear me down and I lose my shit because you're such a such a bitch. Or I agree with you, and then but even then sometimes when you, when you actually do agree with something a woman saying about men, and you go yeah actually I agree with that. I think it's how can you you can't agree. and it's like well why am I even having this conversation if you're not gonna bother to have an intelligent conversation how is it that it's me that's the <laughs> that's the problem um, and some women are just so they just let themselves get so used and abused by men and it comes back to the people only have power because you give it to them 
And if you hate men that much because all they've ever done is the same shit, do you think that maybe you're... Oh, I need to sleep too. Do you think that maybe you're chasing after the wrong men? Could like that be a possibility? That it's not actually, in fact, men's fault as a whole. Um, but it's the fault of the particular men that you allow into that safe space of yours. And let's face it, any, any woman who lets a man into that space, that's a lucky man, right? We all know that. We all agree with that. That's... Get ready to turn right. As a woman, it should turn be her right. choice as to, you know, or be so blunt as to say, share a bed with. Um, any man who forces a woman to do that deserves everything they get, including the wrath of not just the woman, but human beings in general. Oh, computer. crap. I've gone the wrong way. Make a U-turn. Yeah, that was a little hairy. Stay right, and then continue straight. Uh, yeah, any man who does that to any woman. This is the other thing. Us guys have got to stop thinking it's funny. We got to stop. We got to have to really start calling these idiots out for what they are. Stop doing that, mate, because all you're doing is making it difficult and worse for the rest of us. To the point where, if it continues, then the human race is doomed. Because women will get that shitty, that pissed off with idiotic, stupid Neanderthal, not Neanderthal, barbaric men. And men will get that shitty and pissed off with just bitches of women who don't listen, don't want to listen, don't want to hear anything, have already made up their minds, and all men will have no chance. This is whole human race is just like done for. It, it really is. It's Stay left and then turn left. And then they talk about big men and little men. And, oh, you're weak because you let Turn her. left. And it's like, no, dude. You don't realise. I'm not weak because I let her. I'm strong because I'm willing enough to let her. I trust her enough to let her. I'm confident in, in myself enough to let her. I decide to let her. So it's got nothing to do with weakness. I love my wife. I want her to be happy. That means letting her go out on the town with her girlfriends how is that weak if that means letting her decide where we're going for dinner um, how is that weak I don't understand these oh, got a big big macho man Yeah, strength isn't just physical. Ah. And it comes back to that leadership thing. Uh, good leaders, people of power, don't ask for it. It's because they don't necessarily want it. They just want to do the right thing by everyone. Everyone sees and acknowledges that and goes, well... We will follow you because you clearly want to do the right thing by us all, so... Yeah, that's... that's uh, I guess I'm lucky. Oh, I know I'm very lucky. Uh, I'm very happy 
I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. I truly am. I have a wonderful woman in my life. I have a live a lovely life. I'm happy as I'm married and I come and I play computer games um, pretty much whenever I want. Um, I'm not on here very often because obviously you know you got a real life job. Stay right and then exit right. Uh, if I want to call in sick and play games, why well, I can. It's entirely up to me. I choose not to because, well, I'm a strong person. I'm a Stay strong left. Man. I'm not that weak that I succumb to leading anything. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it, it's. Where the hell is the light for this? Oh, it's a giveaway. Sorry. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. And I mean, the same goes for a strong, independent woman. That's the other thing. My wife is a strong, independent woman. Here we are, safe and sound. She's capable of making... How the hell do I get in here? How can we be... Alright, it's brought me to there. Interesting. We're going to the survey, which is good because we need to sleep. Um, I love that my wife's a strong, independent one. Uh, one of the reasons that makes us all the more better to know that she chooses to spend her life with me. I mean, I told you I was lucky. It's like, I have a strong, independent woman who doesn't need me. It's not like she's going to die with that well. Maybe a little bit on the inside if something happened. I mean, we have been together a long time, so it, you know it's like losing a, a pet. For those of you who haven't been in a relationship with someone that you actually truly love, um, a lot of you can associate having a, a pet as you're growing up. I'm not my wife's pet and vice versa. Um, I know there's a lot of people that immediately jump on that and run with it because, hey, that's one way to prove that I'm wrong and they're right. It's not about that. It's the This is cool. This is real cool. I wonder if I have to unload it and take it back. That's got to screw my sleep up if I do. Probably going about this all wrong, but hey. My game. Alright, we gotta sleep. We have to sleep. I don't think that one was in a hurry anyway, was it? Um, nah, we need to sleep and I'm right here where I can sleep. Please tell me I can sleep here. Uh, yep, over on the left. Okay, good.
And I mean, a lot of these people are going to be disagreeing with me. Um, have literally already made up their minds that I'm wrong, even before I say a word. And that's fine. Doesn't really bother me because you people aren't in my life, so. Sometimes you do, you just gotta cut people out of your life. That's just all there is to it. If someone really disagrees with you and they're toxic and and there's just no way there's just no way that they're not going to listen to you you're not going to get your point across and no matter what you do what you say you're never right just get them out of your life walk away don't get them out of the life by doing something to them get them out of your life by removing yourself from their life simple sometimes it's easier said than done and sometimes there's big sacrifices that need to be made but which is worse staying or going speaking of that um, I'm going <laughs> thanks for joining me uh, sorry about the spiel Please let me know if, if you think I'm an idiot. That's fine. I really don't care. There's other. Uh, there's lots of thoughts running through my head. I was a bit reluctant to say everything, but um, be true to yourself. Be honest to yourself. Treat other people with respect and dignity. And are those girls going out dressed like that? Yeah, you're gonna have a good time, but take it from a, a man who does like women. Yeah, you're going to get a good time. Men are going to be interested, but only for a good time. You're not going to be considered. I mean, the, the, a, a rare minority might actually like the fact that you're like that, but eventually it's, it's they're going to change their mind. And I know you're not going to listen to me because you're young and you know better than me. Um, but my opinions and thoughts have changed over the last 20 years since I was your age, trust me. Think about your future. Because realistically, that's what life is about. The future. Improving the future. And on that note, I'm going to improve your future by letting you go. Alright guys, <laughs> cheers. See you.